This is a quick demo showing how to install a new project called LMD. LMD is a, a recently released Kubernetes native distributed inferencing serving framework. What that means is it serves up inference workloads. Uh, you can think LLMs, AI models, and, uh, and optimizes how they get used on the actual underlying GPUs to increase performance, save costs. Uh, go to llm-d.ai to uh, learn a little bit more. But we're gonna get started here with uh, installation and hopefully walk you through some tips and tricks. Now, um, if you start on the prerequisites guide, you can see you need a number of tools installed but I think the, one of the biggest things you do not want to overlook is the installer will provision a open source Llama model, Llama 3.2, but it expects to have a hugging face token and access to this particular model, Llama 3.2. So what that means is you need to come over to your hugging face, uh, you know, log into to hugging face, and um, if we come into settings, hopefully I'm not exposing any sensitive information here, um, and take a look at, so first you'll need an access token. So come into access token, click create new token. Then you're going to need access to the Llama 3.2 language models. So the way that you do that is if you come here and you click on this link, you can see that this is the uh, Llama 3.2-3b instruct. That's what gets installed. <clears throat> and if I didn't have access, then right around here, I would see a, um, an option to request uh, access. Now, you have to give up some information, your, your name and uh, email and that kind of stuff. But you submit the request to get access, and then eventually you uh, get can get accepted. So that's important. <clears throat> we need to expose the, or we need to set that hugging face token once you get it. And once you have access, then continue on with the installer. Now, the, the installer requires that you download a, uh, a project if you come into the LMD organization and download the LMD deployer. So in this deployer, there's a folder here called quick start you'll you'll want to clone this down to your uh, machine and this is where we'll be able to run the installer so that's what I've done here on my machine I'm in the installer and I'm in the quick start um, folder now one thing that I think is worth pointing out is that I'm running on so if I do can you get node I have three GPU nodes here. The basic installation is going to install two models or two instances of the model. One for pre-filling and one for decoding uh, inference spaces. Um, you can take a look at the LLM-D um, announcement to go into a little bit more detail about what that is. But the GPU nodes that I'm using are uh, these ones. So they have um, some GPU memory, not a lot, and the uh, the GPUs that they use are L4, NVIDIA L4. So they're good for you know basic demos and, and that kind of thing, but if you're gonna use a real en enterprise production workload, you're probably gonna be using um, A100s or H H100s. Um, right, okay, so now, because we're using a, let's say a smaller, uh, GPU or less capable than, than some of the workhorse type GPUs. We're going to have to take a look at our um, some of the some of the changes that we made. So I made one change to this YAMLs file. So one folder up in the values file. Oops, that's tab. Um, diff. Okay, so the, the first thing that I'm going to do is change the basic preset or change the, pr the preset to be basic. The default one out of the box is uh, this uh, advanced one. Um, 
but I changed it just to be safe for this install to a uh, the, the, the basic GPU one. And additionally, I've chopped down the model context from about, I think it's 128K is the default. Um, if, if you're using the full, well, yeah, it's like about 130,000 or something for the context window. Uh, I've chopped this down uh, quite a bit so that it runs correctly on uh, on my GPUs here. So again, if we look at our Kubernetes cluster, we have a, a Kubernetes cluster that's running on GKE. I have the uh, GPU operator, the NVIDIA G GPU operator running on it. Oh, this uh, gateway is probably left over. There's nothing in it. Let's go ahead and delete it. Um, so we have a fair, we have a clean cluster here. There's not LMD's not running, and uh, we'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of that uh, there. And if we look at the the directions, basically what we do is we come in here, we uh, expose our uh, hugging face token here, and then we run the installer. And the installer is going to do a few things. So let's, uh, we'll do, we'll run the LLM installer. You'll start to see it walk through evaluating your Kubernetes cluster, installing some of the foundational pieces. So LLMD is, uh, is a few different layers and components that, that make it up. Um, it starts with the gateway API because the uh, inference gateway that we use, uh, which is K-Gateway, is a um, is a gateway API implementation. Then we'll see that we install the inference extension CRDs. So those inference extension CRDs are the uh, gateway API inference extension um, project. So we come here. We see that this is the uh, inference extension project. You can go dig, dig around a little bit. That exposes an API for um, basically specifying routing to uh, uh, AI models or LLM models. All right, so we see here that, um, right, so now we uh, created the, the infrastructure, which, which the, the inference extension infrastructure, which is basically laying down K-Gateway, all the APIs to support inference on, on Kubernetes from, from a routing perspective. And then we start to um, create the, uh, the models. LMD um, has a new CRD called model service. It allows you to specify details about the model that you want to deploy in this case, as you saw, we're using a, a, a Llama 3, 3.2, I think, uh, model here. So, and then the last thing we'll do is uh, we'll um, deploy LMD with the uh, um, with with the charts, the Helm charts that are included here in the uh, in the installer repo. So this could take a second. We're gonna actually it looks like we're installing a uh, the Prometheus Kubernetes stack. Uh, if we start, if we come over here, we should start to see some of these. Uh, all right, we see the LMD, which is a new namespace. We see K Gateway, um, which is a uh, open source, like I said, an inference gateway or AI gateway. Um, and then we see LMD and LMD monitoring. So if we click into LMD, uh, we should see Something. Oh, maybe it's not installed yet. Let's see. Uh, we are waiting for the Prometheus pods. All right, there we go. Now we're installing LLMD. Uh, and we'll give that a second to deploy. Once, once it deploys, you can see that it is a successful installation. And uh, now we should start to see some pods running here. We have um, the, okay, so now LMD, when we deploy the model service, it will deploy multiple models to kind of optimize for different phases of, of inference serving. So that's pre-fill. When we take a prompt, we go through all the tokens simultaneously and build up the vectors 
for each of the, the layers in, uh, in the model. And this, this produces a large number of vectors and stores it into a uh, KV cache, usually on the GPU. Uh, but with LMD, we have options. We can make that very flexible. And if we have a shared cache, then what we can do is have some workloads optimized for just filling the cache and some workloads for, that are optimized for actually using the cache and decoding and creating the next tokens. And that's what the, uh, so the pre-fill workload that you see here is responsible for, do, for filling the cache. The decode uh, workload here that you see here is responsible for consuming that cache and creating the next tokens and giving the response. All right, so we're gonna actually take a look here We'll take a look at the um, logs here. We'll give this a second. Um, it, it does take a little while for the model to come up. So if you're not sure whether your um, installation is working, then you know give it give it a moment. Uh, I mean, it could take I've seen up to five minutes. Uh, maybe it's because of my little weak uh, GPUs that we got here, but. Um, Give, be, be patient because the models do take uh, a little bit of time to come up. All right, I skipped ahead a little bit. As you can tell, our model finally start, uh, finished loading and you can see that the model makes available some, um, some endpoints to be able to call it. All right, so that's for our decode workload. We should see the same thing from our pre-fill workload. And now coming back to our, um, our doc. So once we get through that, we can run this test script to uh, determine whether things were installed correctly. So let's go ahead and run the test request. Cross our fingers here. Um, it'll go through and check what models are available and hopefully succeed. All right, so we've discovered a model. We sent a completion request. Looks like it worked. Um, now it's checking through the gateway and checking a request through the gateway and that all seemed to work. Now the last thing that I'll do here is uh, I have a, oh, that should not be there. Let's go to this cat call gateway. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, uh, oops, that's not the right port. Let's actually delete that. There we go. That was an old, old IP address. Um, right, so now if we take a look at the call gateway, it's going to look up the IP address of our inference gateway, which then routes to our backend models. And if I run the call gateway request, it should work. And there we go. So now we have our uh, LLMD gateway up, the routing layers up, the inference models is work, uh, they're working. We see our, let's go here. We see the uh, disaggregated inference phase deployments. So the different workloads that are running um, different, uh, you know, optimized for different parts of the uh, inference phase. So next video, we'll probably take a look at uh, some of the benefits of using this. Um, but uh, yeah, re reach out. Um, my name is Christian Posta. Um, and uh, yeah, go take a look at the LLMD project.